Anyways. It's a good thing I know about editing, because I can cut a lot of things out. <laughs> a friend Caitlin and I are going to a concert, a Rex County County concert specifically. Here's my outfit. And my messy ass desk, oops. We're going to Red Rocks, Red Rocks Amphitheater, and if you haven't been to Red Rocks, well, they have free parking, but the caveat is you have to hike to get to the amphitheater. And I'd prefer not to get too sweaty and gross. <laughs> um, so we're going to try and get the closest parking spot. The only thing is it's kind of hard. It's competitive to get to. So parking opens up two hours before the venue. And a lot of people get there those two hours before. And then tailgate. We're just going to pack a picnic and then bring some Netflix movies and some crafts. We're going to make like beaded shit while we're waiting those two hours. So, right now, we're gonna go make that picnic. The flavors are melting on my tongue. <laughs> All right, we're making what's called, very simply, a watermelon feta salad. Wow, guess what's in it? Watermelon? Oh my God, can you even guess what's the second ingredient? I don't know, actually. Fucking better. Anyways, I'm gonna add some cucumbers. Parsley flakes, olive oil, and salt. Make it spicy. We're making the sandwiches later. Don't worry about them. Here's the cupcakes we made last night at 9 p.m. <laughs> the orange turned out kind of funny. Uh, it looks a lot less skin tone on the camera, so that's cool. I'm going to take... Which one do you want to take? I'm gonna take this one. And then one more. Not something that's gonna get people to look at us. <laughs> Grab the flower. No, we're not taking the butthole. <laughs> Smash it into the camera. <laughs> so, fucking cucumber. This shit is so easy. It's literally just fucking. Literally just fucking cream cheese, cucumbers, and some seasons. They're cute, they're fun, I fucking love the taste of them. Are we ready? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the song. <laughs> How much cream cheese you want on yours? Enough. That means nothing to me. <laughs> Well, how about this? You just tell me when. Is this good or you want more? Is this Olive Garden? Yeah. For cream cheese? Yeah. Alright, let's fuck it up. We'll do the slices first and then we'll go in with the chunks. Wow. I'm about to fuck it up with the, the little ones. <laughs> it's gonna be all lumpy. It's gonna be lumpy. Cucumber mosaic. Oh my god, you're so smart. Cucumber mosaic. Yeah. If you want some, I can also add some more too. Yes. 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 That's a JoJo reference for all you JoJo fans out there. It's one of the best um, episodes of JoJo, hands down. Disgusting. I don't like the smell of apple cider vinegar at all. The camera. God, don't you know I'm a star? We're making sandwiches, okay? You don't even know what's up. Sandy cheeks. I forgot the seasonings. <laughs> Shh. Nobody say anything. Yeah, but I'd always see them put like pepper on their egg salad sandwiches, and then it would make them sneeze. And it's like, why is this a trope in cartoons? <laughs> I just didn't understand, I like, I still to this day can't understand why that's like a fucking, a whole trope. Triangles? Yeah, that's the only way to cut it. Correct. Look at that cross section, boys. Now that's hey. a Sandy if I've ever seen one. Like I said earlier, this is the outfit I picked out. I'm gonna get changed. I have two sets of pants. But I'm deciding between them, I'm gonna ask Caitlin for help on. Dirty ass mirror. I'm wearing a cross top v-neck thing is really windy outside with like this green sweater and then some high-waisted black pants 
I also painted my nails orange. The outfit's inspired by his second album, Apricot Princess, so that's why it's green, orange, and black with hints of white. If you haven't seen the album cover, it'll be right here. I'm gonna put on, I'm gonna do my hair. Not gonna do anything crazy. I found a picture on Pinterest, which I'll put right here. That's what we're gonna do. I haven't worn a real bra in many, many years. And I found this bra at Walmart for $5. In case you didn't know, I have large yitties. So found a bra for $5, $6 specifically, and I lost my mind. It's a t-shirt bra, and it's got a wire, and I haven't worn a wire in a long time. Um, my body's still adjusting. <laughs> it doesn't feel great, but we will survive. I mean, it could be. <laughs> okay, we repacked the picnic basket because we needed to fit other stuff and the blanket wasn't going to fit, but we have sandwiches. One tuna and two cucumber. Down here we have the watermelon salad. And then under that's the cupcakes. Right here is some meat sticks. Because <laughs> we got to make sure we have protein. We got popcorn, like trail mix and shit under here. And then all of our utensils. And then obviously, again, the trash bag. Because we don't want to litter. Red Rocks is a beautiful place. So we're going to seal that up. And now we're just doing some finishing touches on getting ready. And we're going to be heading out. Try and get some uh, videos of the road. All right, we made it. I'm gonna be discreet because there's people here and it makes me nervous. We're getting out the picnic. So we thought we'd be like earlier. Turns out there's other people just as dedicated. We also, okay. So the Google Maps lost us. We ended up on a detour that was like 10 minutes out of the way. Um, so we got here 30 minutes later than we wanted, plus there's traffic. There's a long ass line. But we're just gonna eat and take our time. We don't even plan on trying to get to the front because that makes me nervous. So we're just gonna eat. Food time. Yay! Oh, I should turn off Criminal Minds huh? while I'm filming. <laughs> yeah, we watch, um, whatever. It's not as small as I wanted it to be, but... Ooh, Apricot Princess necklace, show off yours. Cute! I'm definitely gonna take this back because I wanted this to be a choker and I'm gonna make it smaller. But this is good enough for now considering it was made in like an hour. Um, we're gonna pack up and get in line. Okay. <laughs> So it is the next day. We were going to film something at the end, but by the time we got home, it was 1 a.m. So um, previous to this, you saw some concert footage. Now that wasn't footage I took. Lucas. That wasn't footage I took. That was footage Caitlin took because my phone fucking died. <laughs> um, 
Oops. Rex Orange County, I already said before, is one of my favorite musicians. And I'd never been to Red Rocks, and that is considered one of the most beautiful places to see a concert. So getting to see one of my favorite musicians in concert for my first time at one of the most beautiful concert venues with one of my favorite, most one of the most important people in my life was a moment I will never forget. It was magical. It was beautiful. <laughs> I can't describe to you the emotions I felt. I was screaming almost the entire time. Um, I'm surprised I didn't lose my voice and I think it's because once we got home I drank a bunch of water and took cough drops and stuff. I don't even give a shit. If you don't want to hear people screaming, don't go to a concert. If you wanted to hear a perfect track uninterrupted by the people around you, listen to it on a CD or on Spotify, especially when the artist is asking you to sing because the entire time Alex was asking everybody to sing and sing loudly and to jump around and, you know, he was asking for the participation. So if you think people doing that are weird, you're the weird one. I got his fifth year Apricot Princess anniversary album that was exclusive to Record Store Day. Now the way I got this was I'm stupid and I don't I didn't follow I don't follow band social media very often because it's I'm not gonna explain it here. I saw it on his Instagram the day it was happening and I didn't know the day of so I didn't know when record store day was so I called or I text my fiance and I'm like hey when's record store day because he collects video game vinyls um, and he was at work and I texted him and he says oh that's today. And I was like, well, guess I'm not getting that album. And him being the best fiancé in the world, like literally the best, called around to all of our local record stores looking for it and even asked some friends out of the country who worked at record stores if they could find it. Unfortunately, we didn't find it. But we were in Fort Collins checking out Games Ahoy. And um, I don't know how the topic of conversation came up, but we saw there was a record store nearby two of them, and Lucas being the best, called both of them looking for the album. Turns out one store did have it. So I was able to get my hands on it, and it's gorgeous, and I almost cried. It was magical. I didn't talk, I probably talked about it in the video earlier too. I don't watch these clips before I record the next part, but Caitlin and I had opposite coordinating outfits, and it was really cute and fun. You know, I got to do that because of the kindness of so many people, because Caitlin going with me, even though she didn't really like his music, and because of my friend Freya for helping me with DoorDash and, you know, letting me keep a majority of the profit. But it was thanks to a lot of people's kindness, my, my fiance for helping me out with DoorDash and for, you know, letting me slack off a bit there <laughs> around the house to prepare for the concert. Oh, and shout out to Fanimal. If you guys don't know, it's, again, non-sponsored. I have 15 subscribers. <laughs> Fanimal is this website where you can um, buy tickets. Sometimes, not all the time, because I've noticed, like, AXS will also sometimes have it cheaper. But um, Fanimal has them. Sometimes for, like, even half the price of the ticket you'll find on other websites. Because Rex Orange County tickets were, like, 120 on Fanimal or on AXS. But I found them on Fanimal for, like, 60 bucks. Um, so that made it way easier to afford, and if you sign up, you get, like, money off. I'll put my referral code in the bottom, which gives you a $10 off, like, coupon, and then if you put input your Spotify to your account, you get another $10, so that's $20 off your first ticket, and then if you use that money and buy a ticket, I get $10, <laughs> so... It would be really cool if you use that referral link to Fanimal for me. I know I keep plugging these links, but I need money. So, yeah, it was an amazing experience. And, like, thank you to Caitlin for helping me make it possible for, you know, everything. It would not have been nearly as good of a time if Caitlin wasn't involved. Um, making the picnic with her, making the outfits, you know. The drive and everything and also we got to use her car because mine's broken so it was beautiful it was amazing it was magical um and obviously thank you to alex of rex orange county for putting on an amazing show 
The set was amazing. The playlist, you know, the set list was amazing. His energy was amazing. And just, that's all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a comment, your favorite musician, or if you also listen to Rex Orange County, your favorite Rex Orange County song, perhaps. Uh, yeah, and I hope you're having a wonderful day slash night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And I hope to see you in the next video. the boobies. I'm gonna get away from the dishwasher which is very loud.